That wasn't that bad. That wasn't that hard. Yeah, that's because I explained it so well. I broke it down and I was patient with you. I was patient with you in a way that no one else in your life is ever patient with you. So, um, if you are finding this content valuable or entertaining, consider liking and subscribe. My name's Stuart. Welcome. Welcome to Hosier, the song Cherry Wine. Oh, that sweet, sweet cherry wine as brought to you by Hosier. My name is Stuart. Let us begin. We need a, a capo on the sixth fret. You can do it down here without a capo, but it's just not gonna, it's just not gonna sound the way you want. I feel like you really do need a capo for this song. I use a Kaiser quick change capo. I love it. Any capo will do, but if, but if you want to get this one, I got an Amazon link for you, an affiliate link, so I can make some bucks, guys. Links in the description. Party on, Wayne. See, so you need a capo up on the sixth fret. We are in standard tuning. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. This song has four parts. It's got a verse, it's got a pre-chorus, it's got a chorus, and it's got a bridge. The intro is just the chorus without any singing, so let's do it. Middle finger, third fret on the top string. Your middle finger is gonna spend a whole lot of time up here on the third fret of the top string. Would you, friends and relatives, please be so kind as to play the top string with your thumb six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just like that. What you have just done by playing that top string is you've laid the foundation for pretty much the entire song. Your thumb is gonna be doing this almost the entire time. This song is in three, four time, by the way, so it's going one, two, three, one, two, three, or sometimes we might count it like one, two, three, four, five, six. Great! So we've just done one, two, three, four, five, six. Now let's move on to the next chunk. Next chunk goes like this. You play the top string again, and then you play it one more time. But then immediately after that second time, you're gonna use one of your fingers. I use my middle finger. That's just what I do personally. You're gonna play the bottom string open. So we just did thumb, thumb, bottom. Then go back to your thumb. And then with your ring finger, play the third fret on the second string from the bottom and pluck that. You can use your, th I'm using my middle finger still, whatever. However you see fit. Doesn't, you could use your middle finger the whole time. Don't even, don't even care. Here's what we just did. Thumb, thumb, bottom, thumb, second from the bottom with the ring finger. Let's just do that a couple times. So we're just going boom, boom, bottom, boom, third fret. One, two, three. One, two, and three, and. Great, so good. Right after that, you're gonna get your ring finger out of there and you're gonna pinch together with your thumb and your finger the top string and the bottom string, all the while keeping your middle finger here on the third fret of the top string. So we pinch those together. Then your ring finger goes to the third fret on the bottom string and we're gonna pinch those strings together. Now for extra credit, what sounds even better is when you pinch those two together, let's get pointer finger in here and your pointer finger is gonna play the second string from the bottom. So you're doing three notes together like this. Oh, yes! And then there's gonna be a little bit of a stretch. You're gonna think it's impossible. You can do it. Your pinky is gonna reach up to the fifth fret on the bottom string. And now you're gonna pinch the top, bottom, and second from the bottom together again. We went thumb, thumb, bottom, thumb, second from the bottom, then pinch, pinch with the third fret, pinch with the fifth fret. Do you see what's happening? A little bit faster, it goes one, two, and three, and one, two, three. Let's do just those two measures, just that tiny little part together. I'm gonna count along the whole time. We are on one, two, and three, and one, two, three. Play it with me. One, two, and three, and one, two, 
three. Did you see me have a heart attack in the middle of that? My, I went, I did so what happened? One more time. Let's do it one more time. One, two, three. One, two, and three, and one, two, three. So good! Let's add the next part. So we're gonna put that aside for now. Now we're going to the next chunk. Next chunk. Middle finger stays on the third fret of the top string. You are going to pinch together the top string with your thumb. You're gonna play the third string from the bottom with, I use my middle finger, and then we're gonna go ahead and have the pointer finger play the third string from the top. So we're doing top, third from the top, and third from the bottom like that. We're gonna pinch those three notes together. Oh, guys, I forgot what's happening to my voice. What's happening to my voice? I forgot the most important thing. You need to put your pointer finger on the second fret of the third string from the bottom, like that. Keep your middle finger there, the pointer finger is there. We're gonna pinch those three strings together, sounds like this. And then immediately after that, using your ring finger, you're gonna hammer on to the fourth fret of the third string from the bottom. So that's the same string that your pointer finger's on. You're gonna hammer on to the fourth fret, so it sounds like this. See that right there? So the hammer on, it's gonna be, it's a little bit of a stretch. It's gonna take some practice, but you're just holding down these, you're just holding down these two fingers, and then you're just gonna smash down on that fourth fret, third string from the bottom with your ring finger. Smash down to keep it there. Let it dig into the string. After that hammer on, your thumb plays the top string all by its lonesome self. Then you're gonna pinch all three of those strings together again, but then you're gonna go like this. We're gonna do a double pull off. Here's what happens. You pinch the three strings together, then you're gonna pull off your ring finger. You would like to try to, as you pull off your ring finger, you wanna try to give the string a little, a little flick. I'm kind of pulling down on the string as I pull my finger off to get that extra little bit of volume I'm going. See that? Uh, then you're gonna do the same thing with your pointer finger uh, afterwards. So you go pinch, pull off with the ring finger, pull off with the pointer finger. It's fast though. We go like that. It's very nice, very beautiful sound. Listen to that Appalachian tones of the guitar. We just went like this. Do it with me. We're going to hammer thumb. Triple pull. One, two, three. Hammer thumb, blacky do. One more time. Hammer thumb, blacky do. Great. We're almost done with this chunk, and then we're gonna take all chunks and put them together into one chunk. Middle finger still on the third fret of the top string. No other fingers are touching anything. You're gonna plinch together the thumb on the top. Skip the second string. You're gonna play third from the top and the third from the bottom. Pinch those three together, like that. Then, following that, you're gonna play just the top string and the third string from the top. You're gonna pinch those together. But then right after that, you're gonna hammer on. Lots of hammer-ons, guys. Hammer-on city over here in Cherry Wineville. You're gonna hammer on with your pointer finger onto the second fret of the third string from the top. Goes a little something like this. No, 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 goes like this. Now this hammer on, we want to rush it. We want to like jump right into it. The other hammer on we did when we went, we took our time with this one. We want to go, uh, great. So we just did our triple pinch. Then we did our double pinch with our hammer on. Then you're going to pinch the top string and the third string from the bottom together. You can go ahead and let go with your pointer finger. We don't need it on that third string from the top anymore. So you're going to pinch top, third from the bottom, pinch those together, then immediately hammer on to the second fret of that third string from the bottom, the string you just played. But then before you even know it, you're gonna do a pull off. So you do a hammer on pull off like so thusly. See that? Just a quick little hammer pull. So this little part we just did was, let's do it together. One, two, three. Pinch, hammer, hammer pull. Hammer pull, I love it. We got a triple, double pull off, triple pull. I'm making up all kinds of fantastic terms today. Let's see what other terms I come up with. So we, we've done, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it three chunks so far. First chunk was the easiest of all. We just went one, two, three, one, two, three. 
doesn't even count as a chunk. Second chunk went like this. We went one, bam, bottom, second, pinch, pinch, pinky. See that? Remember that one? No, you don't remember. That's okay. You can go back and refresh it later. And then what we just did was like this. We went. This song is hard. What do you want me to say? We're not even, we're not even to the hardest part yet. Guys, we got work to do. We got so much work to do. Guys, I have, I have great news for you. I have such good news for you. What we do next is we just repeat the same thing again. We just play the same thing over again. You've already learned the next part of the song. Now, that's not entirely true because we're gonna leave out that part where we just played this note six times. We're gonna leave that out. We're not gonna repeat that again. Also, at the very beginning of this repeat, instead of just playing the thumb by itself, we're gonna go ahead and pinch together the top, third from the top, and third from the bottom. So this is what the next chunk of the song sounds like. We, it's gonna sound very familiar because we've already played it. It goes pinch. That's all there is to it, guys. So that's two chunks down, or it's eight chunks down, or I don't know. I've lost track of what I'm doing. But now things get really interesting, and we are heading, we're not to the hardest part of the song yet, but we're getting there, so brace yourself. Right after that thing that we just did there, finally, we're gonna move the middle finger. Middle finger goes down to the next string, the second string from the top, on the third fret. Okay, third fret, mind you. You're gonna pinch together that second string from the top, the second string from the bottom, and the third string from the bottom. We're gonna pinch all three of those together like this. But then immediately after that pinch, you're gonna hammer on with your pointer finger to the first fret of the second string from the bottom. Like that. Oh, so nice. Okay, okay. Okay, so we just did our hammer on on the second string from the bottom. Thumb comes back up and plays the second string from the top. Keep your middle finger there. Then get rid of your pointer finger and play the second string from the bottom again. And then right back to thumb on the second string from the top. So that was like this. One more time. Oh, yes. Okay, then pinch together thumb and the third string from the top. What? What? The th pinch together the thumb. Idiot. Both of us. You and me. We're all dumb. Thumb plays the second string from the top. Pointer finger plays the third string from the top. You're gonna pinch those together. Immediately after pinching those together, your pointer finger is gonna hammer on to the... I said there were gonna be a lot of hammer-ons. It's just a hammer-on type of song. Hosier likes his hammer-on. That's how he got the nickname Hosier Hammer-on. Hammer onto the second fret on the third string from the top. So we've got pinch, then your thumb goes back to the second string from the top, and then your finger plays the third string from the bottom open, and then thumb goes back to the second string from the top. So that was like, one more time. All right, let's put that with the part right before it. So that's from this part where we hammer on there. Remember that? Who cares? One, two, three. Oh, yes. All right. All right. Next part. Get your pointer finger out of there. Pinch together. Thumb on the second string from the top again, and your finger is going to play the third string from the bottom. Pinch those together, and then, yes, another hammer on. Your pointer finger hammers on to the second fret on that third string from the bottom, like this. Oh! Thumb goes back to the second string from the top. Then you play the second string from the bottom, and then back to the second string from the top. So that was like... Hop! One more time. Okay. We're almost done with this little section here. Get rid of your pointer finger. Pinch together third from... Ah! Pinch together second string from the top and the third string from the top again. Like this. Hammer onto the second fret on the third string from the top again. Just like that. Okay, okay. Thumb on the second string from the top. Then finger plays third string from the bottom. Thumb plays second string from the top. Get rid of your pointer finger and play the third string from the top again. So that was. One, two, three. Okay. We're gonna.
gonna play everything from when we put our middle finger on the third fret of the second string from the bottom. We're gonna go very slowly. I'm gonna make it very visible. It's gonna be very exciting. One, two, three. Beautiful song, guys. We've now, in my humble opinion, we've made it to the hardest part of the song. Hardest part of the song goes like this. It's very short. It goes like this. It doesn't sound that bad, right? But this rhythm, oh guys, the rhythm. We're just gonna take a quick little water break. In preparation for this m miserable experience we're all about to share, we're gonna bond over it. So that's gonna be special. I feel like whenever any and whenever there's any true disaster, there's a lot of bonding that happens. A lot of bonding. Such a positive, such a positive time. Tragedy. Middle finger goes back to the third fret on the top string. Literally lost sleep over this last night. I'm literally in bed last night going, I can't believe I have to explain this part of the song tomorrow. I don't want to do it. Maybe I'll just run away from home. Maybe I'll run away from home and I'll never have to explain this part of the song. Middle finger, third fret on the top string. It's not too late. I can still get out of here. I don't even have to physically run. I can drive my car away from home, ditch my car somewhere, and then just, then just disappear. Disappear and it'll be fine. Playing the top string with the thumb, third string from the top of the finger, fourth string from the top, otherwise known as third string from the bottom, also known as the G string with a different finger. Great. This is, I'm, I'm, I'm delaying here. I'm postponing. I'm procrastinating this horrible thing. Okay. I'm going to pinch those three together. Fine. We're fine. Then your thumb plays the top string. That's fine. That's fine. Then your finger plays the bottom string. We're still doing just fine. So we've got pinch thumb finger that we've done that before guys. It's going to be fine. Let's do it one more time together. One, two, three. Pinch thumb finger. Okay. Then you go right back to the thumb. This is, let's play all that together. One, two, three. Pinch thumb finger thumb. One more time. Pinch thumb finger thumb. Now, we're going to play ring finger on the third fret of the second to bottom string. It's this note right here. Here's the deal though. The rhythm is different than we're used to. We usually kind of take our time getting to that note, but in this situation, we have to go to it immediately. So right after you play the thumb note, you're just gonna play that note right away. So it sounds like this. We're going pinch, did you hear how I got to that note earlier than you were expecting? Look, I'm not going to count along with it because then we're all just going to get confused and it's going to be worse than we could possibly imagine. But let's just play it a couple times together. One, two, three. One, two, three. So that bottom string, we're taking our time, but the third fret on the second string from the bottom, we're going right into it. Okay. Let's go a little further. Then you are going to get your ring finger out of there. You're going to pinch together thumb on the top string and finger on the second string from the bottom, which is now open like that. Okay. Let's put all this together. I know we're taking this part slowly. Trust me. It's going to be for the best. So we've got pinch. Okay. So that's right on the beat. Just right where you expect it. Let's do that together. One, two, three. One more time. Okay, okay. Thumb goes back up to the top again. Then you're gonna play, oh wait, oh, I messed up. After that pinch, your pointer finger is gonna play the second fret on the third string from the bottom. And you're gonna sort of take your time getting to it. It's gonna go, Okay, take your time. Not, it's not like slow. You don't have time to have a sandwich. We have time to think for a split second. Okay, after that note, 
your thumb plays the top string by itself again. So that was... Okay. Let's play this whole part again, starting from the triple pinch. That part. Here we go. I left out that thumb. Let's do, I'm gonna do it one more time. Here we go. Okay. So we did that second fret on the third string from the bottom, played the top string, get your pointer finger out of there and play the third string from the bottom open. But this time you get, you do it immediately. Just like we did with that other note before, we just have to jump on it. We just have to go, uh, so it goes right away. So that sounds a little something like this. One, two, three. Uh, uh. Okay, only one more thing left to do for this hard part. You're gonna pinch together the top string with your thumb and the third string from the top with your finger. And then you're gonna hammer on to the second fret of that third string from the top gonna be a fast hammer on. Guys, we just completed the hard part. Here, let's play the hard part together. That was starting from the triple pinch. That part right there. You don't know. No. One, two, three. You're thinking, that wasn't that bad. That wasn't that hard. Yeah, that's because I explained it so well. I broke it down and I was patient with you. I was patient with you in the way that no one else in your life is ever patient with you. So um, if you are finding this content valuable or entertaining, consider liking and subscribe. My name's Stuart. Welcome. Welcome to Marine Music Center. Um, we're almost done with the, with the chorus of the song. Let me just wrap up this last part real quick. So we do that hammer on. Okay, great. Then get your pointer finger out of there. Top string with your thumb, and then play the third fret from the bottom. No, wow, son of a snack, I said the wrong thing. See, I'm, I've, we've got so much of the song left, and I just, everything was ramping up towards that hard part, and now that we did it, I feel like my life has no meaning. So, middle fingers on the third fret of the top string. Play the top string with your thumb, great. With your, but, but at the same time, play the third string from the bottom open, we're gonna hammer onto the second fret on that third string from the bottom, then immediately pull off, okay? Then you're gonna go thumb on the top string, finger on the third string from the top, thumb on the top string. That was one more time. Then you're gonna do our triple pinch, top string, third string from the top, fourth string from the top. Then you're gonna go thumb on the top, then you're gonna go fingers on the middle two, then thumb on the top again. So that was. That little ending part we just did was. So we are now ready to move on to the verse, but first I do wanna play the chorus all the way through once. This whole chorus introduction thing, starting with our six notes of the top string. Is anyone still there? One. Two, three, here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Um. This is where we repeat. to practice it like way slower. I'm playing it slower than the original recording, but I'm still doing it kind of fast. Feel free to like take that part, slow it down to 75% speed, 0.75 speed, three quarters speed and play along with it. Uh, okay, we're gonna move on to the verse, but first I gotta drink some water and just, I don't know, just stare at the wall for a minute. Here we go, Cherry Wine by Hosier Verse. This part's easier, more repetitive. You're gonna love it. 
middle finger still on the third fret of the top string, but also go ahead and put your ring finger on the second fret of the second string. So, oh, I already messed up. Middle finger, third fret on the top string, ring finger, third fret on the second to bottom string. You're gonna pinch those two strings together. Great, then your thumb plays the top. Then you're gonna play the third string from the bottom with your pointer finger on the second fret and then go right back up the top string with your thumb. So that sounds like this. It's pinch, thumb, uh. Pinch, thumb, uh, thumb. Hey, pinch, thumb, what, oh. Okay, great. That rhythm right there, that little pang, chunky, pong. Hey, pang, punky, chung. Get used to it. That's going to happen a bunch in the verse. You are now going to, with your pinky, you keep these fingers all here. Don't move these fingers, but put your pinky on the fourth fret of the third string from the bottom. You're going to pinch together top string and that third string from the bottom. Did I say the right string earlier? Pinky's on the third string from the bottom. Is that what I said? Who cares? Hi. Pinch thumb and that third string from the bottom together. Then thumb plays the top string, then get rid of your pinky and play the second string and third string from the bottom together. No, oh, but you also have to get rid of your pointer finger. I, I apologize. I am so sorry. Play those two and then go back to your thumb. So that was a disaster. So here's what I just did. I went pinch, thumb, get rid of pointer and pinky, play those second and third from the bottom, and then back to thumb. Here's the first little part of the verse, which I am explaining so well. I have to admit, this is so good. We're going. Okay, kinda, sorta. One, two, three. Okay, great. Keep your middle finger there. Put your pointer finger on the second fret of the third string from the bottom, pinch together top string and that third string from the bottom. Then with your pinky, go to fourth fret on the third string from the bottom, pinch top and that note together again. Then bring your ring finger down to the third fret on the second to bottom string, and now pinch top string and second string from the bottom. No, my middle finger escaped. So we go, we're going like this. See that right there? I'm going pointer finger, pinky, ring finger. And we do that twice. We go bong, 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 bong. From the beginning of the verse, we're going like this. Pinch. Bong, 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 bong. Okay, so far so good. Now we go to an E minor chord. How many of you folks out there know the E minor chord? It's gonna be middle finger, second fret on the second string from the top, ring finger, second fret, third string from the top. Thumb plays the top string, and then I'm using three fingers, pointer, middle, and ring finger, to play the second string from the bottom, third string from the bottom, and third string from the top. I'm just gonna pop those all together like that. So I'm going boom, all four of those all at the same time, just boom then thumb on top, then fingers down here, then thumb on top again. So that was pinch, thumb, fingers, thumb. Hey, pow, chicky, pow, do it with me. Bum, chicky, bum, oh, pow, chicky, bum. Then we go to a C over G. Guys, the C over G chord is a classic. Ring finger, third fret on the top string. Pinky, third fret on the second string from the top. Middle finger, second fret on the third string from the top. Skip the third string from the bottom, and then pointer finger plays first fret on the second string from the bottom. This is our this is our C over G chord, you guys. And we're gonna do the exact same picking we just did on the E minor. We're gonna go thumb. I'm sorry, pinch thumb fingers thumb. Hey, pinch thumb fingers thumb. When we put those together, we've got E minor, C over G. Then, middle finger, third fret on the top, pinch together, top string and the middle two strings, okay? Thumb on the top string again, then fingers on the middle two. So that was pinch, thumb, fingers. 
And then this is a little bit tricky. It's a little bit tricky, but in my personal opinion, it's okay if it's a little bit sloppy. Your thumb is gonna play the top string again, but at the same time that your thumb plays the top string, you're gonna hammer on with your pointer finger on the second fret of the third string from the top. So it's like, I did that tear it, that was not it. To ignore what I just did, we go. So that little part there was, it's like pinch, thumb, fingers, hammer, thumb. Hey, pinch, thumb, fingers, hammer, thumb. Um, one more little part and then it repeats. So here's the last little thing. Middle fingers on the third fret of the top string. You're gonna pinch together thumb on that top string and the third string from the bottom open. And then we do a hammer on to the second fret with the pointer finger and then pull off. It's one of our classic hammer pulls. The classic, wow, that's, that's so hosier with the hammer pull. Then we go back to thumb on top and then we go back to fingers on the middle two and then back to thumb on top. So that was. Then you do all of that again and that's the verse. Let me play the verse for you in its entirety. One, two, three. Give me a break. We're done with another section. We've done the chorus. We've done the chorus. And now it's time for the pre-chorus, you guys. The pre-chorus. Pre-chorus, we're just we're gonna do some strumming stuff. So I forget what the strumming is, so I need to look at my notes over here. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so what we do for this part is we go back to our C over G. I'm not explaining it again. We're gonna strum the C over G. We're gonna hold it out for three beats. We go one, two, three. Then we're gonna strum it again, but only for one beat. So we go one, two, three, one. Then go to E minor, strum that just one beat. And then using the thumb, play the second fret on the second string from the top. So that was C over G, two, three, boom, boom, boom. One time with me, one, two, three, strum, E minor thumb. Great! And then I know exactly what happens next. Of course, we do the exact same thing again. We go strum, two, three, strum, E minor thumb. And then I also remember what happens after that, which is we strum the C over G one more time, hold it out for three beats, and then we're gonna, we're gonna do a little something like this. You've got the C over G. You're gonna go ahead and pinch together the second string from the top and the second string from the bottom. Then, we're going to release all the fingers except for the pointer finger, but put your middle finger on the second fret of the second string from the top. It's a nice dissonant sound. We go ba, ba. Then get rid of your middle finger, pinch those two strings together again. So far, so good. Bring your middle finger up to the second fret on the top string, pinch together the top string and the second string from the bottom. Kind of a gnarly chord, but I like it. And then your thumb plays the third string from the bottom, from the top, open. So that was pow, 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 pow. I am aware that I didn't really explain that, but this pre-chorus, it's not, I mean, I think the singing sounds great, but the, the guitar for this part's kind of whatever, so I'm not too worried about it. I'll go ahead and play the whole pre-chorus for you one time. We go one, two, three, a one, two, three, a strum, and hey, strum, two, three, a strum, E minor, thumb, C over G, two, three, then blanky, blonky, blank, blong, blank. And now, we are back at the chorus of the song and I am so happy that I don't have to teach it to you because we already did it. That's what we did for the intro, remember? So guys, we have now done the chorus. We've done the verse. We've done the pre-chorus. Um, there is still a bridge and yes, I'm about to go over the bridge, but I am really gonna phone it in because uh, because I don't know it very well. Okay, let's just go for it. The bridge goes a little something like this.
So like I said, I don't know it very well. What do you know about what do you know about an uh, about an A minor seven chord, guys? Look at this. Uh, I would like you to put your middle finger on the second fret of the third string from the top. Your pointer finger is going to be ready to play the first fret on the second string from the bottom, but not quite yet. So you just have your middle finger right now. Middle finger is doing a lot of work in this song. You notice that? I mean, it doesn't have to move a lot, but. Mm, story of my life. No, I move a lot. Look at all this movement. Too much movement, some would say. Okay, so we've got this right here. You're gonna play second string from the top with your thumb, but at the same time, play the second string from the bottom with your finger. So you pinch those together, then take your time and hammer onto the first fret on the second string from the bottom. That's that note we were talking about. So we've got great, then your thumb plays a third string from the top, Finger plays the third string from the bottom. Then I use my ring finger to play the bottom string. So that was. Then, let's see, what finger do I see? Then your thumb plays the third string from the top again. So that was hammer, thumb, finger, bottom, thumb. Hey, hammer, thumb, finger, bottom, thumb. Okay. So good. Pinch together the two strings that your pointer finger and middle finger are on, second from the bottom, third from the top. Pinch those together, then slide up to three and four. So we're sliding two frets up, both fingers simultaneously, in tandem. Tandem simultaneity slide is what that's called. Look it up, it's in a book. It's reading rainbow. So you slide up to there. Oh, jumping Jupiter. Then we're gonna go like this. Thumb on the third string from the top, finger on the third string from the bottom, ring finger on the bottom string, back to thumb on the third string from the top. It's that same little picking pattern we did a minute ago. So we're going. Slide, thumb, finger, thumb, finger. If we put these two parts together, it goes like this. Great. We're gonna do the same exact thing but instead of sliding up to three and four, we're gonna slide down back to one and two. See that? So we just went bo way, pokey, back, go, bow, pokey, back, up. And then the fastest part, we're gonna go. So here's what that was. I pinched those two together again, slid from one and two up to three and four. Then I pinched them together again and very quickly slid down to one and two and then pulled off both fingers. And then the last thing you do is go thumb, third string from the top, finger, second string from the bottom. So, so far what we have for the bridge is thusly. So close. Middle finger goes back to third fret on the top. You play it once, you play it twice. Play the bottom string back to the thumb, third fret on the second string from the bottom. So that was. It's like when we started the song at the beginning, but then we do this cool thing. Check it out. So, what that is, is we just played that third fret on the second string from the bottom. Get rid of your ring finger. Pinch together the top string and the second string from the bottom. Do a quick hammer on with your ring finger, then a pull off. A little hammer pull, classic hosier. Then you're gonna do the same thing, but on the third string from the bottom with the pointer finger like this. We do a classic hosier hammer pull on the second fret of the third string from the bottom. Then there's one more hammer pull. You're gonna do it with the top string and the third string from the top on the second fret. So that was chucka da bucka da wucka da. Shoopity backity wuckity. Okay, great. And then, uh, we're still not done. Then you're gonna pinch together the top two strings, hammer onto the second fret of the second string from the top. I'm gonna cut this all out of the video. It's gonna be so much better. Thumb plays the top string. Then play the third string from the top open. 
Then play the third string on the for the fret on the top string again, and then play the third string from the bottom. I like don't even want to do this at all. Is anyone even gonna play this part of the song? So close. Pinch together, top string and the middle two strings. Hammer onto the second fret of the third string from the bottom. Then go thumb, and then go middle two strings, and then thumbs. So that was. And then we repeat the same thing that we just did with the whole. I'm just gonna keep going. Put your middle finger on the fourth fret of the third string from the top. Play the top string. And then there's a tiny little pause. And then you're gonna go. That was just third from the top, third from the bottom, bottom, back to third from the top. Ah, why is there more? Okay, then. Then you're gonna pinch together top string and the second and third from the bottom. And then you're gonna play third from the bottom, second from the bottom. Second fret on the top string, third string from the top. So that was. Great. Pinch, boom, pow, ping, pong. And then move up to the third fret on the top string with the middle finger once again. You're gonna play top string, third string from the top, third string from the bottom. Put your ring finger and your pinky on the third fret of the bottom two strings. Play second string from the bottom, third string from the top, and then bottom string, and then the top string. So that was. I'm, I'm done. I'm just done. I don't even want to play the whole bridge all the way through. I, yes, I am aware that, that the whole last part of the bridge makes no sense. You don't know it. Just, just have fun learning the verse and the chorus. Forget about this part. I'm done. I'm out of here. I quit.